low, you know what that number is? Not 14. Maybe you said 82, 222. What if I told you the least it's 1,400 chips all the way up to 3,000 and the average chip could be around pennies on a dollar to 50 bucks. And on top of that, because of this challenge you're having, with not enough of these semiconductor chips being made, car manufacturers have changed their lead time from taking three to four months to build a car to 10 to 12 months to build a car. It's such a big issue in that automotive industry that they've said from 2021 to 2023, they're taking 20 million cars off the conveyor belt. They just can't hit the timeline. And by the way, you know how long it takes to build a chip? Anywhere between 10 to 12 weeks, all the way up to 20 weeks for the complicated chips. And in 2021, you want to know how many chips we built? 1.141 trillion chips. So look, I don't want to give you a, you know information overload just on the intro. All I want you to know is this is something we have to be aware of because our cars don't run without any chips. And a lot of things don't. And today it's become a political issue between China, Taiwan, US, and many different